Hi, this is Sherry. I'm here to um, share more of my haul from my trip up to Maryland. I drive up through, uh, I live in North Carolina and I drive up through Virginia. And so anyways, I did already show a video of uh, some of the lace and doilies. And I got a whole bunch of these uh, real photo postcards. Most of them have writing on them. I'm not gonna flip through every one, but they're really cool. And uh, so, yeah, I, I love to use true vintage items. I love this little kid. And one of the um, cards that I picked up, it's not a photograph, a photograph of my grandfather, but on the back, it's a little boy and it says Clarence Robinson as a boy. And Clarence Robinson is the name of my grandfather. But it was verified that that wasn't him. But that was pretty cool. So I got a bunch of postcards also. Not that I needed any more. A lot of them have a one cent stamp. And uh, many of them have writing on the back. So. Mm -hmm. That's a two cent stamp, so that's a lot more recent. So, anyway, a couple more of the photos. I have, you know, a pile, a big pile of those. So, let me see if I can put them somewhere without toppling them onto the floor. And I got this little package. It's 12 views of Silver Springs in Florida. It's a bunch of little cards in there more postcards from a different shop that I went to. This isn't vintage, but it was, was cute. More writing on the back. Um, this wasn't exactly a postcard, but it was a note and it definitely, I can't read the date, 1942, I think. And I got a couple of these photo packages. This one is of um, Yosemite. I'm really into these now. And it's a lot of uh, photos from the park. If anyone's been there, it's, I think it's the greatest, most beautiful park in the country. And I've been to most of the parks. I haven't been to Yellowstone, but I don't know, something about Half Dome and El Capitan. It's just beautiful. And I also have one for Yellowstone. It's similar photos and photos on both sides. I know I'm just flipping through this, but I doubt people want to see every single card. And uh, these were a few pretty cards I picked up. They weren't, they're foreign. I don't know if they're from Spain. But they're, they feel vintage -y and, you know, I thought they were pretty. Those. And I got this little booklet about Mallorca, Spain. So it has a lot of uh, cool photos in it. definitely a vintage piece little booklet and I got a um, vintage pamphlet with uh, photos and drawings of Hawaii so I thought that was pretty cool everything came in a plastic sleeve <laughs> which was nice now I have a lot of plastic sleeves and I got a couple of stereo cards they were one dollar each, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Oh, okay. And I picked up fabrics from the Fancy Gap um, fabric outlet in Virginia. So I, I just picked up a few. Some of them I think look like embroidery. I'll use them in my the embroidery journal that I'm starting to make. I thought this was cool. 
they have different f fabrics than I can find in just your typical fabric store. Thimbles, that should go with embroidery. Little bird, and just some more pretty colors. And some cat, kitty cat fabric. And a few other little pieces. This has letters on it. We always like letters, at least I do. Some butterflies. And this has little uh, chickens or roosters on it. And that's something that I plan on creating is a farm or rooster journal. And then I um, did get a few books. This one here is not really old, but it has nice drawings in it. which I'll use for a journal. So cute. And the artwork is gorgeous. And then I thought this one could go with it when I make a journal. Cattail House. This is an old book. I don't know the, the date. I can't read that without my glasses. So, oh, 1949 but it also has some nice drawings. It's a little worse for wear, but you know, perfect for, for junk journals. So I got those and I got this little ledger, which would make a great cover and it has some beautiful um, handwriting in it. And I believe I've, I may have shown this before. It looks like it's minutes of a garden club meeting or something. But almost every page has writing on it. Look at that natural aging. It's nothing like the real thing. And I, I uh, picked up a few books that I like the covers, so I'll use you know the cover to make journals. And some of them I may change the spine out, but I thought that was cute. Rose and Bloom, Louisa Alcott. And they, they most of them do have um, some plates in them. 1920, that one. I have this, Beth Ann herself. I had another Beth Ann book cover that I used. It was about going to school. And, you know, it's a nice, nice shape. 1920. Here's that tissue. Love that. This one is Margaret Montfort. I thought that was a really cool cover. And what I do like to do with some of these books is make them into a writing journal. So they may not have a lot of um, effect, you know, be heavily embellished but that way I can um, just use a variety of vintage papers and keep the price down somewhat without embellishing it too heavily and it again has some nice black and white drawings in it not make a nice cover and this a treasury of fair a verse for little children. Isn't that sweet? I like that, uh, these old books, the pages were printed crooked. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't stand for that now. Nope. So it's kind of cool. But I like that cover. And the last one I have to share is More Heart Throbs. It's a lot of stories of love and uh, broken hearts and people wrote in and they won prizes if their stories were selected to be in this book and I think there was an original book heartthrobs this is volume two and by those contributed as a supplement to the original ten thousand dollar prize book heartthrobs ten thousand dollars wow so it's poetry and prose a lot of good book pages too. 
All right, well, that's all I have to share now. I think that's pretty much everything that I've bought on my journey. Who knows? So thanks again for watching, and I hope you're inspired by some of these books and fabrics. And, you know, the hunt for treasures is a large part of the joy of making junk journals.